Hey everybody, I want to show something I thought was cool today. Um, I've got a little repository set up here with Git. Um, it's got four commits in it, 0, 1, 2, and 1.1, to mirror the situation when we may have made some commits and then at the end realize we need to add something to one of the commits in the middle. In this case, 1.1 is an addition, hypothetically, to commit 1. Um, so the typical way we might do this is to come to the command line and do an interactive rebase. And I have a, an initial branch here on the initial commit because I don't have any of this remote. Anyways, I'm going to do a, um, a rebase then on commits 1, 2, and 1.1. And the tool comes up to pick the commits that we want to um, reorder in this case. So I may come in here and uh, yank the 1.1 commit and put it right after the first commit. Or I may actually go in here and squash these two commits together. Um, once I've picked and reordered and decide what I want to do, then I come here and I save my work. And it goes ahead and rebases. And then if I look at my commit history, you can see things are rearranged to um, match at least the order of what I want to push to other people. So it's n not as confusing when someone else goes to look at what you've shared with them. Um, on the right hand side of the screen here, I've got smart git. And any commit that hasn't been pushed to a remote repository, so in this case everything, it gives you the ability to review those, and that's been there historically. Now it also gives you the ability to just come in here, grab a commit, say that 1.1 that I moved, and I can just drag it around and move it on top of another commit. So I actually have the ability now to do what I just did with the interactive rebase at the command line with a drag and drop interface, which is a very natural process to doing uh, reordering of commits at least. So you can see it moved around and I'm back to my initial um, position with 1.1 on top. And of course I can move it back and I can come over here and I can see that it's now reordered it. Um, another feature of the commit review is you can actually go in and you can edit the commit messages. So maybe I just want, maybe that was good enough to reorder them. I just want to call this, instead of 1.1, I want to call this maybe 1.1 um, step 2 or something like that. Anyways, I could change the message if that's what I wanted to do too. Um, the other thing it supports is the ability to grab two commits and just right click and you can join them. So perhaps I want to combine them and I just wanted to say one combined. Now obviously I probably wouldn't put combined in there because other people don't need to know I did that, but just want to show that. It can allow you to change the commit message and you just hit join commits and it will combine those two commits together. And if I come over here and just look at the command lines so you believe me here, we've got zero, one, and two. There are some features of pushing commits that are just easier to work with um, in a visual aspect, and it's one of the nice new things about SmartKit 4 is it allows you to reorder them, which is a very visual task, um, edit messages and combine commits together. Um, be really cool if they added maybe changing dates or authors and other information about the commits, but I'm sure we'll see that come in the future. Anyways, I just thought that was cool and hope you enjoyed it too.